How's it going guys, my name is Andrew Pants, and today I'm excited to bring you guys the second part of the anime YouTube Hunger Games. Now, the, the support you guys showed for the first one was absolutely incredible, and uh, so I figured why not bring it back for the second annual anime YouTube Hunger Games. So here we are, and if you guys could please show the same amount of support as you did in the last one, I'd be greatly be appreciated, because this series is one of the most fun on my channel to do, and it's something that I started, and hopefully we can continue going for a long time to come. And also, I'd like for you guys to please, if you could, maybe share this with some of your favorite anime YouTubers. Uh, that are on this video and now uh, well, let's get them all involved. Let's all have some fun laughing at our own expense as we murder each other in the uh, In the depths of the Hunger Games here, so let's go over the people in each of the districts I took out a couple people I added a couple people and I tried to keep everyone in the relative same district They were in before but uh, I arranged some of the pairings a little bit differently But uh, you guys will see as we go over the district so in district one We have me and kal -El as per the usual where else would me and Kalal be butt together. District 2, we have former Otaku, Mr. Reckless Penguin, and Sudi Tootie. District 3, we have Team Clickbait Thumbnails, Average Anime Fan, and Glenn Love Subway. District 4, we have Hidden Rivalry Ship yet again, RC Anime, and Kevin Nia. District 5, we have Alex Takami and Top Anime Weekly. District 6, we have Me and Kalal Part 2, All Anime Tops and Light Arrows EXE. District 7, we have the Canapa Effect and Douchebag Chocolate, otherwise known as the district full of people that I had no clue where to put them and kind of just stuck them together. District 8, we have Boring Taste in Anime versus Not Boring Taste in Anime, Anime Every Day, and Digibro. District 9, we have Misty Connexi and the Anime Man. District 10, we have GR Arcata and Giga. District 11, we have the Homophobophobe District. Go Jesus and Hollow of Dawn, and District 12, we have basically the same person you be trolling me in the anime snob. So, without further ado, I'm going to hit proceed and we're going to jump into this anime YouTuber Hunger Games, the second annual anime YouTuber Hunger Games. So let's go. Let's see what happens. As the tribute stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Matt runs away from the cornucopia, Gig runs away from the cornucopia, Glenn runs away from the cornucopia, Shuga runs away from the cornucopia, Joey runs away from the cornucopia, Alex runs away from the cornucopia. Demo decapitates Kevin with a sword, so Kevin Nia is our first one dead. Uh, that's fun. Uh, Kalal takes a sickle. Energy runs away from the cornucopia. Alex grabs a jar of fishing bait while Snob gets fishing gear. Mo snatches a pair of size. Some penguin guy sets explosives off, killing Sudi Tootie, so two dead in the uh, in the reaping here. Corey and Light fight for a bang. Light strangles Corey with the straps and runs. Okay, so I guess that means Corey's dead too. Taylor takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Hollow runs away from the cornucopia. Digi rips a mace out of Michael's hands. Lewis stays at the cornucopia for resources. Arcata runs away from the cornucopia, and Misty runs away from the cornucopia. So pretty eventful. Uh, we're already having some deaths taking place here. Matt fishes. Taylor questions his sanity. Snob picks flowers. Always something incredibly important to do in the midst of all the murder. Kalal injures himself. Hollow receives the fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Energy kills life for his supply, so that's one kill for me. Go, Energy. Digi makes a slingshot. Alex attacks Misty, but he manages to escape. Demo explores the arena. Glenn questions his sanity. Lewis discovers a river. Shuka goes hunting. Some penguin guide constructs a shack. Armada thinks about home. Joey tries to spearfish with a trident. Giga goes hunting. Alex questions his sanity. Mo thinks about home. And Goat Jesus travels to higher ground. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace, Kevin Nia, Sudi Tutti, Mr. Reckless Penguin, and Light Arrows. Night one, Michael fends off Glenn, Kala, and Lewis. Misty and Energy huddle for warmth. Here I go again, making alliances. Alex and Taylor hold hands? I ship it. Hollow tries to treat his infection. Arcata tends to his wounds. Some penguin guy screams for help. Demo and Gigguk talk about the tribute still alive. Matt begs for Digi to kill him, but he refuses, keeping Matt alive. Mo attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Shuka tends to her wounds. Alex tends to Snob's wounds, and Joey sees a fire, but stays hidden. So, uh, no deaths, right? No, no deaths. I don't think. Unless I'm mistaken. <laughs> Demo forces Michael to kill Misty or Alex. He decides to kill Alex. Kala runs away from Matt. Some penguin guy and Hollow split up the source for search for resources. Joey sees smoke rings in the distance but decides not to investigate. Snob sprains his ankle running away from Mo. Digi and Gigug work together for the day. Shuka and Taylor split up to search for resources. Glenn diverts Energy's attention and runs away. Arcata unknowingly eats toxic berries. Arcata. 
what a way to go, I guess. Alex throws a knife into Lewis's chest. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace. Uh, the anime snob. I mean, <laughs> Alex. It's easy to get the two mixed up. Arcada and Lewis. Michael and Mo tell stories about themselves to each other. Hollow thinks about home. Taylor cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. <laughs> Energy attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Snob looks at the night sky. Kellogg cries himself to sleep. Some penguin guy, Alex and Matt, discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Glenn, Misty, and Gigguk sleep in shifts. Demo receives fresh food for an unknown sponsor. Digi tends to his wounds. And Joey decapitates Shuka with a sword. Oh man, this is this is going down right now. This is getting real. I'm getting, I'm getting hype. Matt thinks about home. Michael steals from Glenn while he isn't looking. Misty attacks some penguin guy, but he manages to escape. Digi Demo questions his sanity. Digi attacks Joey, but manages to escape. Giguk chases Alex. Snob begs for energy to kill him, but refuses keeping Snob alive. Kalos searches for a water source, and Mo chases Hollow. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace, uh, average anime fan and Shuka. Sh average anime fan fudging killed himself. That's great. Uh, some penguin guy screams for help. Joey receives medical supplies from another sponsor. Glenn questions his sanity, and he often does that, I assume. Alex and Mo sleep in shifts. Michael questions his sanity. Snob destroys Matt's supplies while he is sleeping. Giguk, Hollow, Misty, and Energy tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. And always, um, always me making alliances with everybody. Digi receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, and Demo lets Cal out into a shelter. There is a vast lack of deaths attack of, of taking place here um, day four Matt constructs a shack joy runs away from Alex Giga collects fruit from a tree snob tries to spear fish with a trident misty receives clean water from an unknown sponsor Kalar receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor demo steals from some penguin guy while he isn't looking digi searches for firewood hollow kills Glenn as he tries to run finally some death Mo tries to spear fish with a trident Michael searches for a water source and energy thinks about home yeah, thinking about home. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace, Glenn Love Subway. Joey and some penguin guy huddle for warmth. Mo looks at the night sky. Digi sees a fire but stays hidden. Demo and Matt hold hands. Snob, Alex, Misty, and Giguk tell each other ghost stories to lighten the moon. Hollow tries to sing himself to sleep. Kala is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Energy cooks his food before putting his fire out, and Michael starts a fire. Where is the death? I'm falling asleep over here. Mo receives medical supplies from another sponsor. Snob travels to higher ground. Kalal fishes. Alex poisons Gigguk's drink. He drinks it and dies. Matt kills some penguin guy with a hatchet. Demo receives explosives from an unknown sponsor. Joey hunts for other tributes. Hollow diverts Michael's attention and runs away. Misty overhears Digi and Energy talking in the distance. Me always making alliances. This is insane. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace. Giguk and the Canopy Effect. At least you didn't. At least you weren't the first one to die. The Canopy Effect this time. Uh, that that's something to be proud of, I guess. Um, yeah. All this this lack of death is making it everything more just more so intense. Cal thinks about winning. Snob destroys energy supplies while he is asleep. Misty falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Um, at, at least the pit hasn't claimed any lives yet. We, that's something to look forward to. Uh, hopefully, it'll claim some down the line. Matt tends to his wounds. Hollow kills Joey for his supplies. Mo, Digi, and Alex cheerfully sing songs together. What a great thing to do in the midst of all the death and despair and people killing themselves and falling into frozen lakes. Michael dies from infection. Demo loses sight of where he is. The Feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs of the tribute's families. Mo destroys Kalos' memoirs out of spite. Alex sets off an explosive, killing Digi, Energy, Matt, and Hollow. Oh man, there goes me. Well, at least I went down with four other people. Demo kills Snob with his own weapon, so now all that's left is Mo, Kalal, Alex, and Demo. This should be fun. Uh, Demo defeats Mo in a fight, but spares his life. Alex constructs a shack, and Kalal receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. <laughs> Fallen tributes. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace, Misty Cronexia, the Anime Man, Go Jesus, Digi, myself, sadly, Matt, Hollow, and Snob. Demo, Mo, and Alex sleep in shifts, and Catlock thinks about home. Here we go. Who's gonna win? 
Alex injures himself, Kalal tends to Moe's wounds and Demo constructs a shack. No cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Oh man, this is getting hype. Who's gonna win? Alex receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Demo destroys Moe's supplies while he's asleep and Kalal thinks about home. Yet another anticlimactic uh, evening here in the anime Eugene Hunter games. Demo explores the arena. Alex camouflages himself in the bushes. Kalal begs for Moe to kill him. He reluctantly obliges, killing Kalal. So now there were three Demo, Alex, and Mo. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Cal, at least you didn't die of thirst or fall out of a tree this time. So uh, that's something to be proud of in this like fourth place. So, you know. Demo silently snaps Mo's neck. Alex dies trying to escape the arena. And the winner is Douchebag Chocolate from District 7. Oh man, that was a, that was a long Hunger Games. So the placements, Demo in first place with three kills. Alex the Kami with four kills, um, Top Anime Weekly with one kill in third, Kalal in fourth place with zero kills, and then Anime Snob in fifth place with zero kills as well. So this Anime Easy Burger Games was fun. <laughs> this was, uh, yeah, it was nice to see everything unfold. I can tell you guys that I recorded this once already, and uh, that one was as funny as it was anticlimactic. But um, yeah, this one, this one was definitely suspenseful, honestly. It was, uh, that one had me going for a little while with all the uh, all the things happening. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, the summary here, and uh, let's look at everything else while I proceed to the statistics. But um, yeah, here we go. Here's the statistics, and uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this rendition of the anime Tuber Hunger Games. And uh, please leave a like if you did. Like I said, the support for last time was amazing. You know, you guys really came out and. Uh, show the support for that one and it was really fun to do especially so like I said I hope you guys can make this one just as much fun and I hope you guys had as much fun as I did watching all of us murder each other and so on and so forth and uh, like I said if you guys you know would be so kind as to share this with your favorite anime youtubers and uh, let's get them all in the fun here because what's more fun than having these people kill each other than having them react to these people killing each other so like I said you know if you guys could share this with your favorite anime youtubers and uh, especially with the trailer I'm hoping we can get a lot of people involved in this and uh, have a good time so yeah that's it for this anime youtuber hunger games I'll see you guys in six to eight months for the next one however long it was um, I doubt there'll be a trailer like this one next time because it was hard enough to make this one with what I had but uh, yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Share this with your favorite anime YouTuber, and uh, let's uh, really show the support for this series. I'm hoping, and uh, if we get enough support, like I said, I'll bring this show. I'll bring the third annual anime YouTuber Hunger Games in uh, in a matter of months. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Share this with your favorite anime YouTuber, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.